June twelfth, getting there. Master, where dwellest thou? Come and see, follow me. John 1, verses 38 through 39, and verse 43. Where the self-interest sleeps, and the real interest awakens. They abode with him that day. That is about all some of us ever do. Then we wake up to actualities. Self-interest arises, and the abiding is past. There is no condition of life in which we cannot abide in Jesus. Thou art Simon, thou shalt be called Cephas. God writes the new name on those places only in our lives where he has erased the pride and self-sufficiency and self-interest. Some of us have the new name in spots only, like spiritual measles. In sections, we look all right. When we have our best spiritual mood on, you would think we were very high-toned saints. But don't look at us when we are not in that mood. The disciple is one who has the new name written all over him. Self-interest and pride and self-sufficiency have been completely erased. Pride is the deification of self. And this today in some of us is not of the order of the Pharisee, but of the publican. To say, oh, I'm no saint is acceptable to human pride, but it is unconscious blasphemy against God. It literally means that you defy God to make you a saint. I am much too weak and hopeless. Humility before men may be unconscious blasphemy before God. Why are you not a saint? It is either that you do not want to be a saint, or that you do not believe God can make you one. It would be all right, you say, if God saved you and took you straight to heaven. That is just what he will do. We will come unto him and make our abode with him. Make no conditions. Let Jesus be everything, and he will take you home with him, not only for a day, but forever.